Hi everybody, I'm a couple minutes early. I am Jenna and this is Apple Dolly Creations. I'm just mixing up a little bit of Mo um, Mod Podge with a little bit of water because we're using lots of Mod Podge tonight. This is the second of our angel in the series that we're doing this week. Just gonna shake this up some. Let me know you're here, say hi. So I always mix the water and Mod Podge in another container because I don't wanna water in this. So that I mix it in a little jar and then I can put a lid on this and it's good. So what we're doing tonight is, we're, like I said, we're making an angel. This is angel week, and we're using the Gorilla Glue glue sticks and the tube. We're also using lots of Mod Posh tonight. And something else that I found at Walmart the other day when I was there, this is Folk Art Extreme Glitter. It's hologram. Now when you open it, it just looks like a white paint, but it dries clear and it's supposed to be extremely shiny. So we're gonna try this tonight too. This was like uh, almost $3 for this two ounce bottle, but we're gonna try it. It intrigued me. I've never seen it and I've never used it. So we're gonna try it. So like I said, we're using lots of Mod Podge tonight because we're gonna decoupage. And I picked up these napkins I was looking for something with a scene on it, but I couldn't find them anywhere. So I went, walked, ran into a Dollar Tree and I saw these and I thought this will work. So our theme tonight is red, silver, and white. And what we're using for our angel body is this candle holder. This is what we're using. Now I got this this summer at Kirkland's. It was $9.99. And I have done all kinds of arrangements in this. I filled it full of rag balls. I filled it full of flowers, all kinds of stuff. So tonight, we're, this is our angel's body. And the handle is her arms. So we're gonna cover this. We're also, we're gonna use this we're gonna have three different kind of lights. We're gonna have a tea light. Now I looked for, I guess I'm just late to the game of timer tea light. I couldn't find one, so we're just using a regular tea light. We're also gonna put light, lights in the bottom because you're not gonna be able to see through this jar when we're done. And then her head also lights up. I picked this ornament up at Dollar Tree. You just turn it and it lights up. This is her head. Now it's already white and silver and glittery, so we're not doing anything to this, but we are going to attach something to this to make this fit on here, because this needs to be just a tad bit bigger to make it look right. See that the, the proportion's not right there. But I have two different ways to attach her head on here to make it work and you're still gonna be able to take her head off to get to the candles in there, of the lights. So, I already have glue strings everywhere. So the only thing we're doing to her head, like I said, is we're at I have two different things that I'm gonna to try um, to attach her head to the jar. So that, pull this off, you can turn your candles off or on, and then put it back on. So we're doing something different for arms tonight. And um, no prim tonight. We're not priming anything up tonight, which is odd. So this, now you can find smaller jars like this at Dollar Tree. Or you can take a mason jar that has a, um, I thought I had one here. I do. I'm working on another snowman that has the, where the ring is and put wire around it and make a handle. So you can do that also. So this one comes off, so we're gonna take it off 
so that we can work on her body. I have all kinds of things sitting here, so I'm going to try and take this idea out of my brain and make it work here tonight. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I always say, oh, that'll look perfect, and then I'm like, oh, what was I thinking? But we're going to try it. So when you're using napkins, you know you're going to take the plies apart because you can only use the decorative one. Now these are from Dollar Tree, and I like them because most Dollar Tree napkins are only decorated on one corner. This is all the way around, but I think this is going to look really nice on here. And then because it's a napkin, the light will shine through. So I'm thinking we're going to use two for the body and then one for her arms. Yep, we're using a napkin for her arms. Now these are coming apart really easy because I worked with them a few minutes ago. So we're gonna, we're gonna put the napkins on here. Now I have already washed this, down, washed this and then went over the glass with alcohol because you don't want uh, your napkin to start coming off because of something on there. So I'm just using a big chip brush and I'm just gonna put this on. This is the Mod Podge and Water. And I'm doing a thin coat because I want this to dry quickly so you're not listening to a hair dryer like the other night. I didn't like that. It was drowning me out. So I'm just putting a thin coat on here, even coat, because it doesn't take much. And I'm going from under the lip all the way to the bottom. And I'm doing the whole jar at one time. I don't know if you can hear the geese outside. They're right practically under my window tonight. But I fed them early so they wouldn't be too noisy. Because if I forget to feed them, they are, let me know it. <laughs> they even chase Tony down when he's out at the workshop. Okay. So I'm going to sit this over here. And I'm just going to start right up underneath of that lip. And I'm just going to work this down. Now this is too long. So we're going to cut it off and I'm just pulling the napkin a little bit to try and keep as many wrinkles as possible out. But you're going to get wrinkles no matter what. No ma Hi, celebrations, new member. So we're just going to put this on and then we're going to work the other one on there. I have tried all kinds of ways to keep the wrinkles out, but just if you're Mod Podging, you're gonna get wrinkles. I've tried the paper napkins, I've tried ironing. So we might have to mix up some more of this. And I'm gonna just go right back over this because we want this to dry quickly. And then we're gonna fill in the rest of it. So we're almost back at 400 members. For those of you that don't know, my other business page was hacked. 
and I lost over 2,000 people. And because I didn't have a list of who those people were, they're gone, unless they find me again. So, I don't know what someone's getting out of hacking everybody, but my business and personal page was hacked at the same time. So, we're rebuilding. Now this will dry clear, so you don't have to worry about that. And then we're gonna try that hologram paint on, on this after it dries. So we're gonna trim this off. I have two different um, ideas for wings, two different ideas for her hair. So we're gonna figure this out. So up here on right at the top, I'm going to make some slits so that it will fit that lip a little better. And then we'll put the second napkin on and cover this up. You just got to get this lip covered. And it's not going to show because we're going to put some lace around her neck. but we still want it to be covered. So I have seen these jars, these candle jars at several different places. Like I said, I got mine at Kirkland's, but Dollar Tree has the smaller version, but you can also just take a, uh, a jar and just make your own. We'll put the handle back on this. Just making sure all the edges are down. So I don't think we need a whole napkin. I think a half of one will do. Measure it. So we're going to use one of these napkins for her arms, too. Let me start it this way. Now, some napkins that I have used, the crease is like really um, almost like steamed in there. If you use an iron and go over that, it will take that crease out. Because I picked up some napkins one time. I think I got them on Amazon. And that crease wouldn't come out even after I wet it with the Mod Podge. So I ironed them. So if you don't have an iron, you can use a um, curling iron. A flat iron will work.
So we have one spot that we need a piece of a napkin on. So I'm going to cut this smaller. So after we get everything on here, you won't be able to tell where the uh, napkins were pieced together. Okay, got that much. And we're gonna set this aside and let this to start drying, and then we will finish drying it with a heat gun or a curling iron or a hair dryer. I can't talk today. I work. I work today, so I can't talk right now. Just make sure this is all even, and none of it's loose. Okay, we're going to set this aside. Now her head. I thought this is a little photo frame. It's wood. It's magnetic. You can get these at um, Michael's or um, Hobby Lobby. But I thought we could put her head on that and put it on the top of the jar because we're gonna to have to remove her head for the lights inside. Or we're using sn uh, silver snowflakes. So I cut the center out of one and I thought we could use that too. So I'm not sure which one I like better. This one we're gonna to have to cover Which one do you think? Hi, Marsha. So which one do you think? Do you like one over the other? I think I like the, the wood photo frame. Okay, so we're gonna use the wood photo frame. I have a tissue paper here that's white, it has glitter all over it, and it has silver snowflakes. So we're going to Mod Podge this too. So we just need to do the one side of it that's going to be seen. And then we will cut this out. So we're taking unusual things this week and making angels out of them. Now I have seen some creators use a lighter and burn off the paper. I was going to try that and I thought I have too much of fabric and everything in this room to try I'm chicken. <laughs> so we're gonna cut this. We're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna cut it. Let's hit it a little bit with a dryer. I'm gonna to have to try that trick off camera so that I don't want my room to catch on fire while we're on camera. Wouldn't that be the talk of the town? Have any have either one of you guys tried that? 
where you burn the rest of the paper off with the Mod Podge. Sometimes I see things online and I'm thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to try that one. So if you want to hop over and join Celebrations Creations, she's a new member here. She's also a creator. 7.30 tonight. Isn't it 7.30? Did you have a show, a video tonight? So her name is listed there so that you can find her. I usually use a nail file and file this off, but it's in another room and my hubby is busy to bring it to me. So I hope everybody had a great day. I worked, so it was just a little crazy, like always. So this is almost dry. And we'll cut the center out when we go to put it on our head. Now we're gonna um, use the Gorilla Glue, the, the tube, and glue this on her, on that ball. I'm just making slits like a pie all the way around. And then we'll fold it under. Now these little photo frames, I think they're like 59 cents at Hobby Lobby. I believe that's where I got this one. And I'm not even sure what I purchased it for. I probably got it on clearance or something, so I figured I'd use it for something because I don't ever remember buying this, but it's in my stash. So there you go. So we are gonna, while the Mod Podge is wet, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of glitter. This is silver. On it. Just right around the edges. Just on the points. Then when this dries, we will seal it one more time to make sure the glitter stays on there. I have a brother that refuses to let my sister-in-law bring anything in that house that has any bit of glitter on it because he hates it. Okay. So there we go. So we're going to set this aside. I'm running out of places to sit because i got like three projects going on on this table at the same time. And let's bring her back. This is almost dry. We're going to dry it a little bit more.
I'm just going to dry the part we're using as the front. And right where her arms are going to be glued on. Now her arms. I took a brown paper bag and I cut off right along the top about a three inch section. Okay. Opened it up and folded it in half and ran it under water. And while it's damp, I twisted it. Squeezed it together and twisted. And I put a Chanel stem on the inside as I twisted it. I just twisted it all together. Set it aside and let it dry. And this is what I have. Okay? That's her arms. So we're going to cover this now with a napkin. And we're just going to glue it on. I did start one corner of this. It's probably the last corner I'll check too. It is. So I'm just lay this down. So I have a Chanel stem in there and that will help give it sturdy and then we can bend it. And I'm just going to trim this down and we're gonna wrap it up and we're gonna glue it. So we're just gonna roll it. And I'm trying to keep it tight. The glue was coming out. I said, oh, no, it didn't break. <laughs> I had one right in the middle of a live that quit working on me. This is what we have. So the ends, we have a little bit here. I'm just going to glue them back. And we'll put some glue on the inside of the napkin, too. And I'm just going to fold this over without burning myself. So there we go, we have arms. Now it doesn't look like much now, but it will when we get it on her body. So we just made a tube out of brown paper, a chenille stand or pipe cleaner, whatever you call them. Just making sure that whole seam is glued. And where I folded it over, I'm going to glue it right under there. We're going to bring this around and glue it right up underneath of there. So I'm just going to bend this a little bit. And it's just going to look like the, the handle. You know, I wanted to put the handle inside of that. Okay. 
too late now. <laughs> so I'm just put a big dollop of glue there and I'm going to hold it and let that glue, let that catch there. I will do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Now her arms, we don't need to use the um, the Gorilla Glue tube because she's there's no weight actually going to be on her. We're going to hang a few bells and things on her arms, but there's not going to be any weight. So there we go. That's her arms. I got stuff all over my fingers. So we're going to take this. And we're going to glue the head on there. You know, I think probably hot glue is going to work for this one, too. I'm just going right around that opening. And I'm just going to glue that on. So then we can take it off her body and turn the light bulb on. So we're gonna sit that there. This is going back down inside because we have a, a tea light. If you can find the back, the timer ones, let me know where you find them because I went looking for them. So we also have these lights that we used in um, the snowman. They have three different settings. We're going to put these in the bottom of the jar. I got these from Timu. And then I'm not sure how I feel about Timu. So I'm looking for these for other places. But I like a tiny little box. Hi, Kim. So I've got to figure out how to untwist this. There we go. So there's about 20 of these little tiny, they call rice lights. There's different names for them, but they're tiny little lights. There's 20 of them on this wire. We're gonna put this down inside. So you have lights in the bottom, and then the, uh, the tea light, and then her head lights up. We're gonna put our wings on her. The hardest part about these lights is getting them untwisted. Okay, so we're gonna drop all this down in there. And I'm gonna glue this little box right here on the back. And I'm going to glue it so that the battery can be changed on it. I'm just going to glue it right there. So see, you can see the lights. And then if we light up her head, you have three different lights there. You can't really tell with these lights in here on. But her head blinks that one off maybe you can tell better there her head blinks there you go you can see it so her wings I'm using these gold or silver snowflakes and I cut one point off of both of them and I'm just going to fan these out on the sides so I'm gonna glue them together Just glued them together. Hold that together for a second. And then we're going to glue it right to her back. And 
and I'll show you what the back of this looks like in a moment. Okay. Now hold this for a second and let that catch because that Mod Podge isn't quite dry there yet. So I have some um, just ruffled lace. It has gold and silver in it and I'm gonna put that right here on this lip. Let me move her head. Right along this lip. So it's just a ruffled sewing lace. You can pick that up at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, anywhere that sells uh, fabric and sewing supplies. And we'll start it in the back and we're gonna work it around. So we are almost done with this project. We have to put our halo on, and I want to try that new glitter paint over her dress. And we're gonna put hair on her head. Now I have a mop that we could use. And I also thought about using Spanish moss. So I made Tony go get me a mop today because I forgot it yesterday when I was out get picking up supplies. So there she is so far. So what do y'all think? She's starting to dry too good. Because I want to put this let me turn some of these lights off. This is folk art. It's extreme glitter. Now this two ounce bottle was $3. But if it works, like they say, it just looks like a white paint. But it dries clear. And I'm gonna paint this over her dress. I'm just using the same brush I had with the Mod Posh, like a, a glue string and paint. Okay. So I'm gonna go down over her arms. And I'm just touching it here and there on her arms but I'm gonna paint the, at least the whole front of her dress. I don't know if that's the paint or the glue strings. So I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to tell this. It says it takes an hour to dry. I'm gonna hit it with the, the gun the hair dryer, just so maybe you can get a, a little bit of a sense of what this looks like. But right now it just looks like Mod Podge that's drying. try this a little bit so if we can see. So I have never used this before. I just found it when I was looking at my closet at Walmart.
almost finished. Okay. So there we are. So let's get her head back on here. And I think I'm gonna use Spanish moss for hair. So I'm just gonna cut some of this off and glue it on. Now you can paint, use a paint marker and put a face on her. I'm not. How much hair do you need? Let's start with that. Let's put some on the side. I wasn't sure if the hot glue was gonna melt my bulb. I tried it earlier. Cause you never know with the hot glue and plastic. Put a little bit on the back. Oops, she needs a little more glue. I wish I could just do my hair like this. Holly, you're so quiet. No one's saying anything. Does she need some more? She needs some more glue. Oh, you have Bentley again tonight. That's great. I'm glad you like her. So Bentley is watching craft videos, huh? <laughs> Grandson after my own heart. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, that's drying really bright. When it's not white, you guys, I'll post a picture when she's totally dry. So we need a halo. So I'm taking two Chanel stems and I'm gonna twist them together. Just twisting them together. I'm going to leave a part that's down and then I will make her a hoop and twist that. I'm just going to fold this together. See? And I'm just going to glue that to the back of her head. Making sure this is round.
I need to find some kind of a product as a hot glue I can use on my hair. There she is. So we're gonna flip her around and we're gonna put stuff in her arms. She's still wet. I'm trying not to get my fingers in it. When this dries, I know you can't see it on camera, but this is drying extremely shiny. So when this is totally dry in about an hour, her whole dress is gonna glisten. And that's what I was hoping this would do. So it is made by Folk Art. It's called Extreme Glitter. I don't know if it's a new product or it's been out, but I just found it. But it's $3 for that little bottle. So I have some little Jingle Bells. And I have, this is a bell you get at a wedding that I would thought I put right in the center of her arm right in her hands and this is one of these curly cues that we made this is just a twine and I'm gonna wrap that around her arm her on her hands and I'll put this bell on it and these a couple jingle bells we're gonna glue on there so see, even when I go to a wedding, I save the bells because I use them in my crafts. So you need to quit throwing this stuff away. <laughs> but this is from our wedding. So I'm just going to feed this through. And then I'm going to tie it. And I'm going to put a couple jingle bells on here. So what I did was I put hot glue on the end of the strings on the twine to hold them together so I could push this through. Is that going to work? Maybe. Try this stylus. It worked the other night. And just push it through. There we go. This twine is a little heavier. You know what? We're just going to tie them on. Has some red ribbon. And we're just going to tie these little jingle bells on here. I have Mod Podge on my fingers, so it's not helping. So we're going to tie one on each side of the bell. I think I'm going to tie it tight on each side. Now in Hobby Lobby where they sell the stuff for fake bakes, you can get tiny little snowflakes and stuff. We're going to put some of those on her too on this side. We're going to try a fake bake one day. I had bought an apple pie from a lady and we're going to put this in her hands. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna glue it. I bought a, a fake bake apple pie and I had it sitting on my Hoosier cabinet and when I moved, it broke. So I wanna try and make another one because the lady that I bought that from passed away. So have any of you tried fake bakes? I mean, it looked so real. Let me turn her around. I made a little bow that we're gonna stick up here in our hair. I just bumped her wings off. And I have a tiny little snowflake that I bought where they sell fake bakes. And we're gonna put a couple of these in her hair. Okay, wings. That glue's not catching because her dress is still wet. So I'm gonna hold it and put a couple more snowflakes in her hair. Okay, wings. There's always one thing that always gives you a hassle. Cut some of this glue off. So what do you think? See, there's her wings. Let me shake this glitter off and I'll hold it up so you can see. There's her wings on both sides. So do you like her? You like her, Kim, huh? take the hair dryer to and get all the glue strings off. So at 7.30, celebrations. She was on here watching. Go hop over, join her page, watch what she does tonight. And I thank you for joining me. We'll get her flashing again. There we go. Get this light turned up. Maybe you can see her a little bit better. There we go. I'm glad you like her. I'm gonna sit here for a minute and hold her wings so they, the glue catches. God bless you. Thank you for watching. I hope you like these different things that we're making angels out of. So we'll see what I come up with for Friday night because I, I don't know that yet. <laughs> And after she completely dries, I will post a picture so you can see how sparkly her dress is. Because I don't think you can see it yet. No, you can't see it yet. So there you go. So if you try any of these things, now like her, I use that um, candle vase. You can use a tall uh, flower vase. 
You can use a half gallon uh, canning jar. But I hope you like her. Have a great night, everybody. God bless.